Australia is home to some of the most deadly spiders in the world. In this video, I will show you a compilation of spiders that I've looked at under the microscope. Have a look at this. To start off, we have the redback spider, also known as the Australian black widow. This is a species of highly venomous spider, and it is found throughout Australia, Southeast Asia, and even New Zealand. It is a member of the widow spiders more generally, and its most notable or characterizing feature would have to be the red stripe on its back. It's not necessarily an aggressive spider, but if it feels threatened, it will try to bite. In the footage shown here, it is trying to bite the container that it's held in. Not a happy camper. These spiders are found in your backyard under rocks and pot plants. This one is still quite young. Over time, its abdomen will become a darker shade of black. An impressive and iconic Australian spider. Next up is one of my most favorite spiders in your backyard. Its specialty is camouflage. This is a crab spider, and it belongs to a group of over 2000 species, all with different colors and patterns. In my handling and experience of these spiders, they are usually pretty calm. They are called crab spiders because they have two long front legs and they sort of spread out like a crab would. The interesting thing about this spider is that it doesn't build a web. Instead, it has mastered the art of deception. And to a certain degree, the crab spider can change its color. It will do this to blend in to the surrounding environment. To catch prey, the spider will set up camp on a flower. And when a fly or a bug visits the flower, well, I probably don't need to explain the rest. How cool is this? Up next, we have a spider you might recognize. This is colloquially called the white tail spider. Understandably, it has a white tail or a white tip. Also found in Australia, I often find these spiders around my house. They can give a pretty painful bite. They are most active at night and will actively hunt their prey. It's been previously thought that they do cause skin necrosis, so a flesh-eating bite, but there appears to be a lack of evidence to fully support this. Still best to avoid getting bitten by this spider. Lastly, the jumping spider. The jumping spider has to be perhaps my number one favorite spider. And the one that you see here in this video is only a baby. These spiders have incredible vision. If you look closely in the footage, you can see its eyes moving around inside its head. Each eye acts like a tiny telescopic lens. This spider is constantly scanning its environment. They have amazing depth perception and it's believed that they can even make out the shape of the moon. How cool is this? Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. I've got plenty more microscope adventures to share with you.